Cheap Homesteading and today we're going to start incubating some chicken eggs. My friends at Chick Cozy sent me a incubator. I haven't had a chance to use it yet because I live in a fairly cold climate and if you start incubating too early, you have to put the chicks outside um, too early and I, I find it just easier to start at kind of the end of March and that's what I'm doing. And this will be the first time that I'm using the Chick Cozy incubator. So it's kind of going to be a cool thing to try out for sure. Um, we're going to run the other incubator and we're just going to give some um, updates along the way. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start up the incubators. So this is the Chick Cozy incubator. Uh, the power plug is back here. 21 days, it's 62 Fahrenheit, it's so 61% uh, humidity. Uh, so we're at 21 days. Uh, to reset to 21 days, which it is, egg turner, press up. There we go. Okay, so they have countdown setting day, temperature setting, uh, which is this. Okay, so it's set to 99. And then we're putting an auto turning. Now it's gonna start heating up. If you wanna test the auto turning, you hit this button quick once and it just tests it out. I've had really good success with my other incubator, which is this style of incubator. So I'm kinda having uh, high hopes. I grabbed some eggs from my buddy John and uh, we're just gonna throw them in. I went through all the eggs, make sure all the really clean, clean ones we're gonna throw into the Chick Cozy because I wanna give it the best chance possible for this incubator to work. Um, I have high hopes for it because it is kind of the same style as my other incubator. The turner is different, but it really is kind of the same style, so. I'll start putting the egg. Get it up to temperature first. Make sure that it is all working. We're gonna unplug it. We will place these eggs pointy side down. You know what? If there's any way possible, it's good not to wash your eggs because there is a bloom on the eggs kind of to keep it from allowing the uh, bacteria to go into the egg. So if there's any way possible, try not to wash the eggs. But if there's a big chunk of uh, manure on it, I really would wipe them off with a uh, damp rag. I wouldn't scrub too, too vigorously. Now we're gonna put the lid back on. We're gonna plug in the egg turner and we're gonna plug in the power. One thing I wish they would have done with the egg cozy is make a longer cord because it's kind of short. Um, but otherwise, I feel like the whole thing is really quite well thought out. We're gonna pull out the tray. We're gonna fill the A tray with water. and we're gonna shove it in. That is one of the big advantages of these incubators. You don't have to open the incubator to uh, fill the tray. I'm gonna put this to start off there. Okay, we're gonna try that. So, it is starting up. I am gonna watch the temperature, make sure that nothing goes too crazy and the humidity is all good and everything. I don't want to uh, just put them in there and not watch it. The other option is to start it up and let it come up to temperature uh, and then you'll know that everything is going good. But I thought, you know what, I'm just getting this done. I'm gonna put them in and get them rolling. We got the Chick Cozy incubator up and running. Uh, you know what? When they sent me the link to this uh, incubator, I looked at it and man, it had all the features um, that all the more expensive incubators had. So it kind of piqued my interest. So they sent it to me and uh, I am 
really interested to see what the hatch rate is out of this uh, incubator. So we're going to make some update videos along the way so you can kind of see how many eggs actually hatch out from this incubator. And uh, I want to say thank you to Chick Cozy for sending me out the incubator and we're going to put their uh, link and the link to the Amazon on the description of this video so you can go out there and take a look. But the most important thing about this incubator is to see what the hatch rate is. It doesn't matter if it looks good and it's got all the um, the features it needs, if it doesn't work, it's not worth your time. So I'm gonna make some update videos along the way to make sure that you can kind of see how many eggs hatch from this go. So that's about enough for today. You guys have a good one.